Hi everyone, Fertilis Bless here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today to share with you guys some blinked out candle holders that I'm thinking about making. You know, the Christmas season is coming up and to go with my decor, I wanted some blinked out candle holders. So let's get into items that we'll be needing for this DIY. Okay, before we get started, I'd just like to mention that this past weekend I was in the Dollar Tree in my area and I met one of my subscribers. Now I feel so bad because I don't remember her name, OMG. I'm so sorry dear, but it was so nice seeing you. She was with her husband and her daughter, which was so nice and she said hello to me. Alright everyone, let's get into the items that we'll be needing today. Okay everyone, Dollar Tree has these new candle holders, yeah. They're nice, they have them in black, gold and silver. I picked up the black ones. I think they're very nice. I bought two of those. And then we have the candle holders. And we have the gems from Dollarama. But I'm using the small gems because you all can also get those gems in Walmart. And we have our glue gun. Alright everyone, let's get started. Alright everyone, we're going to start by placing the gems going all around our candle holder. We're just going to bling it out. And now we're going to be placing some smaller gems going all around. Filling in between the, the large gems, we're placing the small gems to give it a nice pattern. Now we're going to add some gems to our candle holder, you guys. Just going to be placing them going straight down. And I'll be doing this line going all the way around. Alright you guys, I got another idea. I'm going to add these glass candle holders to my design. So I'm just showing you how I'm placing the rhinestones going all the way around the glass. And here's the finished look you guys. Okay, so here we have the finished product and the added um, glass candle holder that I'm, that I'm adding. I'm getting tongue tied. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be placing them together like this. And then I'll show you what it's all about in just a second. Alright everyone, here are our finished products. I think it looks very nice. Now I'm going to show you the different ways that you can use these candle holders. Now I couldn't decide which one I like best. So we're just going to have a look and show you different ways that I'm thinking about doing them. And you tell me what you think. Alright. <laughs> All right, everyone. First, I placed the candles on top of the glass candle holder, which I think it looks so elegant, so blinked out, OMG. <laughs> so like I showed you, I did the glass holders, bling them out, and then placed that on top. So it looks nice, it looks very nice. And then over here, we have it on just the candlestick. Yeah, see? I blinged out the candlesticks just on top, and you could place it on top and like that's another option that you have or if you want you can have a more blinged out candlestick which I did more rhinestones going down that one and just place it on top and that looks elegant too all right so we have this choice here with the two on um, the glass 
two glass candle holders on the bottom the round one the round glass candle holders on the bottom I think they look very nice like that or we can have option number two where we place them on the regular candlestick holders and here's a closer look at option one all blinked out I think they look so nice And here is an a look at option number two, you guys, when they're on the slimmer candle holders. These also look nice, all blinked out. And as you can see, I have some candles inside. The candles from the Dollar Tree that come in the glass containers already are the best ones to use. I think both options would look lovely for Christmas setting and also for a wedding centerpiece you guys oh I think it would look very nice on a wedding table all right you guys I hope I've come up with a nice DIY for you guys to do to help with your holiday season or even just to bling out your house <laughs> all right everyone thank you so much for coming on and seeing the DIY that I did today and don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more of the DIYs that I come up with to share with you guys all right everyone remember as always to stay blessed from petal is blessed bye bye